hi everyone. Um, I'm Alfred, and this is Rogue Legacy. Uh, it really just dumped me in here. Um, it's a ancient, ancient roguelike. And originally I was going to record something else. Actually, I had recorded something else, but I was going to upload something else. But as it happens, Rogue Legacy 2 is coming out in like... Four days for you guys, I think? Anyway, let me, let me just double check my sound settings for a second here. How do I sound? Yep, yep, yep. Not too bad. Let me just tweak this a little bit. Anyway. only control scheme I can use. Anyway, this is a roguelike that actually um, features some of the original... Oh boy. Oh dear. One of the original... One of the systems wherein... Sorry, jeez. Bad start to the episode. Rogue Legacy is a game that features... Uh, ooh, that's cool. I love the part like that. The legacy system actually being used. Oh. I got him. Okay. Let's start my legacy. To a manor. Let's go home. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Rogue Legacy um, has the legacy system where you actually have permanent things. Oh, this looks just like... It looks like Symphony of the Night. That's cool. I am an epic gamer, so I do have to like legally like Symphony of the Night. Prince of Germany. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father in the cave. I ward him back to the kingdom, set my siblings and I on a quest to save him. We will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampton. Cursed Castle stood on the edge of the woods since time is a moment. Rumors say it dwells. Within it dwells an item that will cure any other. I'll get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they are asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my family. Is that me? But I got a map. Yeah, that's a that's a Castlevania skeleton right there. Ooh, a corrupt knight. Do they accept bribes or anything? Not getting off to a great start here, I will say. Readily. I make no claims about my skill at games. Should I be in the lookout for a wall chicken, I imagine? Oh, you're me. I was slain by a flame look. Alright, let's choose my air. So yeah, this is the thing. Gay? Sir Dude the Knight Gay? What? Trait Gay? You're a fan of the man? <laughs> Alright. Choose your heir. 
gay and dwarfism. Hypergonadism and clumsy. Uh, so I kind of want to pick... Ooh, Lady Blair is actually cool. I kind of want to pick Sir Octave, though. Just because it's a different class. Let's begin a new adventure. Ooh, we got a smithy now. Blacksmith can... Ooh, boy. Build the finest equipment in the world, turning into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. Ooh. What's up, bro? Welcome, hero. You can help me. He used to be the greatest blacksmith. Yada, yada. Blueprints. Yada, yada. Huh. So I had quite a time getting this episode recorded. Not for any reason or anything. One must pay the toll. Ah, uh, so you can only... Okay, yeah. So you gotta start fresh every time. Castle Hampson. Um, I didn't have any issues actually getting this to record. Just that it. Oh, look at that! Yeah, this one I needed it. The main issue is that it starts just whatever. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I have a fear that Sir Hypergonad is uh, not going to be long for this world. Well, I was slain by a Doomless. I'm going to take a little break and uh, go grab the controller and uh, stop the recording for a second. But I'll be right back. Hey, this is what the intro looks like. All right. Oh. Hey, it works. All right. So I had to pick a new character. And I have no monies. They have all my no money. So let's get back in. Now that I'm able to control my game, I don't have an easier time, theoretically speaking. Who's my character now? Lady Joanne, yeah. These are her stats, and I'm a knave. Hmm. You seen that coming? Wow. Been slain by a Frosten. Okay, that's fine. So we can now see the line of all the rogues in my legacy. Um, Sir Octave the second. Oh, he's got glaucoma. It's <laughs> funny. Uh, let's go with Evan. the harder ones. I'm noticing, uh, I'm noticing that this is just, it really just wakes up with a difficult game. It really doesn't stop. I think that's... Alright, let's just get the hell out of here. Oh boy. This 
is proving to be less and less. Hey, we got monies though. Love them. Enough. What does he do as possible to like dash or flex or anything? Not yet, although I imagine that I will in one time. I should try this. For all the good it is. I mean, to be frank, this is the best attempt I've ever made. Well. Got hit by a spike tour. My normal, um... Gwendolyn, huh? Electrophobia. That's CIP. I know no pain, huh? So I got a lot of monies. Let's grab that. Ooh, cool. Turn knights into paladins. Through rigorous training, paladins know how to block blows from any direction. And that was all my money, nice. So, just a little FYI, I didn't know anything about this game besides um, the control scheme and the style of game that it was before I booted it up uh, before recording. Betrayed. Part of the Dark Souls out of 10. Yeah, I feel like I can't jump here. It's just really hard. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I should have picked the other child, says Lady Gwendolyn. Wow. Oh, well, let's try out the palette and then. Oh, he's got OCD and ADHD. Nice. A man after my own heart. Get out of here. My normal um, ways to just spend all my uh, wow. That, huh? How does that oh boy, it's one of the paintings. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Oh. I'm so off guard. Whoa. Good sure lunch, too. Although I'm the eldest child, not my father's favorite. Always don't even plan to leave me to I find the cure, everything will change, and the victor will earn nothing less than the final upon it. Upon ascension, my wife and children move back in the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where we will once again be treated with respect we deserve. No longer shall we stare for the gossip and pity slander of my cousins, the other two chip out of the past, which is what I saw. Keep our duty clear, conquer the castle, find the cure, and collect all that. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. That was another good attempt. Right. Let's do one more attempt and then we're going to take another break. I like the idea of knaves, honestly. It seems pretty in keeping with the uh, the idea of having a, you know, a rogue, if you will. What you say, blacksmith? Well, all this money's going in the trash. The art style is great for this game. The difficulty is crushing. The gameplay is pretty great. Reminiscent of um, this is this is just kind of the oh yeah, it gives me both. Nice. It's just kind of reminiscent of Shovel Knight a little bit, mostly just for its. Um, 
Where were you when I needed you, chicken? I always really like rogue classes in RPGs. Of any kind, really. Now, do you keep your low health? I guess I'll never know. Do I have glaucoma? Nearsighted. Everything far away is blurry. I have that in the real world. The real world. That's why I have to wear glasses. Oh, nice. I recovered MP. The crits are fantastic. This is just... Maybe this is just me, but this also reminds me of a game called Shatterhand. Yes. Oh. Well. I'm gonna have a long legacy, huh? I like a mage with gigantism. Uh, let's go with Stephanie. The gay. <laughs> the fact that gay is a trait just kind of cracks me up, honestly. Alright. Um, damn, I'm ten short. Let's grab that. Oh, we got more. Architect and Enchantress. Interesting. So yeah, the uh, abilities to actually pick... I said that that was going to be the last one. Though. The ability to um, get a little further every time, it almost feels like a flash. There was this one flash game I, I played like all the way back in high school. Wow, that's great. God. Very chess objective. Beat all enemies. How do I get to the enemies to defeat them? Yeah, I played this flash game back in high school where you couldn't, uh... You couldn't get, like, maybe, like, ten steps before the game. And so you just spent the game upgrading everything. Well, that makes sense. Played by a great knight. Okay, I'm gonna take another little break. We're back. I took a short little break break. Alright. Blade Wall Sun's interesting. He's got a he's got peripheral arterial disease. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And sure shrew. That paladin. Oh, he's got Dilsexia like me. Well. Let's go ahead. Come on. This is a this is a game where I would definitely use the term skill game. Um, a term that I use, I don't know if a lot of people use it, but in a game like a Dark Souls or something where you're just not allowed to progress until you get fucking good. I, I refer to those games as having a lot of skill in it. And I don't think that that's a bad thing at all. I think that if a game has difficulty and it lets you know up front that the game's gonna be fucking hard, it should let you know up front. Games that get hard, like, later on. <laughs> Games that get, like, just annoyingly hard later on, with no real warning, are uh, very annoying. The fact that it's a roguelike with some better character progression is uh, pretty gratifying as well. Uh-huh. 
Hi there. Care to test your dexterity? Get one shot, but it's fair... Oh, if you succeed, I'll give you a nice reward. <sighs> oh, God. Unfortunately, I've squandered all my knives. Damn. Couldn't even hit any targets? Good luck with the rest of the place. You are the 9,999,999. Breathtaking. Very good. This is a game that I'm definitely having a lot of fun with. Well, the shrew got pumped by Frost. Alright. Got a knave. Lady Chun Li, nice. I'm kind of tempted just to. Lady Wimley, nice. Yeah, I'm always tempted to pick, um... Yeah, 190. Oh, yeah. Let's grab that. Absolutely on site. I'm tempted to pick Paladins at every instance because it, uh, they're the only class that's upgraded and that makes the most sense to me. In case it wasn't, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend at least two episodes playing this. Cause this game is pretty dang good. A Doomvus. Nice. Okay, this is this is gonna be the best one yet. I feel like. You know, I'm not one to believe in fate particularly, but even I can admit that I can do this. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, we found it. Paid my dues into the castle proper that Devil Karen has taken all my owners' payments. Filled my private coffers. I love my wife and children with life. Price for all, any and all will be the deaths. This is fair. Fair because of all who've entered down to return, but I will change that. I'm victorious. It's not being stronger than I, even though I'm Cool. I got 290 monies. That was really embarrassing. Alright. Wallace. Faye. EHS, you conduct electricity well. <laughs> okay, let's even see here. Oh man, the other ones get expensive as you get. Oh man, it's like the Dark Souls of video games. Okay. Let's get this going. Architect unlock. Architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the lock, lock it, load it, layout of a castle, lock it down, make sure you can afford the fees. Upgrade barbarian. Attack up. Ooh. Hello. I'm killing nearly everything in two shots. Want to know a cool fact? I'm crazy. Lever here, I can prevent the castle from changing. Oh, you stopped the castle from changing. Damn it, that's that makes sense. 
40% of all gold. No. That other castle sucks. Besides, it's a rogue. The mechanic should be playing that. Ooh, all three are left. That was clean. That was so clean. Oh boy. This almost reminds me of um that one game, Infinity Blade, I wanna say. Where it's like, you must go to where your father died and get killed by the God King who killed your father. It also very much reminds me of Gungeon, but not just in terms of roguelike and uh, legacy mechanics. Oh boy. Oh, we got a chicken, I think. I believe so, at least. Okay. Doing alright, I think. I like to think I am, at least. I'm not doing it. Okay. So when I leave a room and come back, it appears that enemies remain dead, which is great. Oh man, I, I, I always forget to use my spells. Oh, good. Whoa. I found a boss. That's good, at, I guess. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to go in there. Gatekeeper Keter. Keter. I didn't really know what I was supposed to do there. All right. Well, let's take a look at that monies. Got Sargans. Coprololia. Oh, okay. Uh, Fleming with a bunch of shit. And Sir Lee the second. Um, Fleming sounds pretty great. Considering all the shit he has. And I've got 440 monies. Um, hmm. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Wow, my character's huge. So, I wonder if I can still warp back. Nope. Okay. So, it has to be in the same line. Or in the same castle. Oh, boy. Oh, please don't get by that. I do this. Yeah, the dudes with a huge sword really run in the dungeon. They might just be because of the way they're making it. Oh, and the enemy's leveling up? I've just noticed that I have a level. Damn. Oh, that doesn't matter. I would. This, uh. Wow. I wonder if it'll credit me for killing the eyeball. It did. <laughs> nice. At least, at least I killed that eyeball. All right, I'm gonna play as Lady Hiroko because she's a guy with a beard and she's a mage, and I haven't played a mage before. Let's give that a shot. I feel, I feel kind of uh, uh, bad about this LP, kind of just because uh, I'm not doing so great. Oh, man. Like, I kind of feel like this is a, uh... Like, one of them, like, 09 Demon Souls LPs where people are just banging their heads against shit. Let's lock that castle. Let's just see what it's like. So, maybe you can read some trenches your ancestors missed. 
<laughs> Would have been better to have done it on the uh, one where I actually had the teleporter and the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's an attack. Okay. That makes much more sense. Than that. Okay. Forgot about the intro to that. It's really tough. Let's go with Dagger. Dagger seems pretty good, right? I only got 24 monies. Oh, and I'm nearsighted too. Cool. Sure, Sharon. Yeah, this is really hard. Like, I feel like I'm banging my head against a lot of this. Like, again, I... Wow, okay. Like one of those 2009 era games where like, just don't know how to do anything, don't know what anything is, don't know how to play the game. Like, too hard, can't get good. Oh, no. Thanks, Flame Mom. What are my traits? Um, don't have a lot of MP. Oh, I've got EHS and platform stay open. Time to bust open platforms is uh, kind of annoying in this game. Nice, love that. Love wall chicken. I think I just got 150 right off the bat. That's pretty sweet. A solid. Oh. I'm guessing that's soul lock. Like a solar warlock? Like as in he shoots the fucking sun at me? Destiny who? Wow, this guy's... This guy's hard to get in on. He just did 47 crash damage to me, just touching me. Shit, this guy's for real. Is this a boss? Or am I just not leveling up quickly? Because he's level 13, but I'm level 10. Okay. Blueprint found. Squire chest. Ooh. Is that like a chest piece? Like one would wear on the bosom? Or like the, the box? Oh, man. Okay. Oh. Platforming in 2D games, especially one like this, is not one of my fortes. Oh. I'm back here. Interesting. Oh yeah, I never went this way. No. At least I got some chicken. Not to quote your, you know, now 20 year old memes. How old does that mean? It's like 16 years old, right? Four. I'm, I'm never sure if people, if I should expect people to know the world. Oh, cute development time one month. Release date. Our fourth project after travel tallies took a few months after making the game focus on the time on our day jobs. Got angsty make a puzzle game. Most of the original founders of Cellar Door Games left to pursue other opportunities and the unwanted remains are what compose the company today. A uh, game used a cute combo mechanism them as a force plays and think about how the town fall to build up the combo. Made it free, but nobody picked it up either. At the failures of Band of Bear, Travel Tallies, and Q, you prepped yourself to pack it up because the company. Oh, so this is other things that this company made and they just didn't sell? That's kind of interesting. Oh boy.
Okay. All right. Got an endomorphic badass. Baldness, no, not badass. Vet. Okay. 330 gold. Let's grab this. Oh, you know what? I'll take a chunk. And then I'll just try to speedrun it. Each gold piece is now giving me more as well, so the game is almost definitely leveling. Capoelia is just, um, I believe it's a symptom of Tourette's, where you just, uh, that's the, the part of Tourette's where you just say swears. Is it literally just, my character will swear when they get hit? Interesting. I'm only gonna get 60% of my money. The wizard's over there. Oh man. So, you wanna hit one left, huh? If he's getting. I don't know if it'll save me. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I saw that. Unfortunate. All right. Sir McGlattery. Oops. What have I got? A level 11 knave, and I've got all that. I will not be locking down the castle, sir. It's pretty hard. I should probably do that whenever I have an easy one. Wow, that's nice. Oh, word. What the hell was that? Okay, let's just keep going, I guess. I didn't even get any money. Um, so while trying to uh, record this, uh, last week my chair kind of just broke. Uh, I used to record in a big, comfortable armchair for some reason. Just the height of decadence, I'm aware. Oh, boy. But mainly because it was one of the only, like, spare chairs in the house. Uh, and the back just kind of collapsed on me as you get the chairs. It was an older chair from one of our college roommates. Oh, wow, there's the boss, huh? Bunnies. The blueprint night chest. Cool. Let us get out of there. Um. Yeah. So, uh, while well, it's something to record, I we got another chair from a porch. Wow, another one. Huh? Oh, whole new area. This is, this really feels like Symphony of the Night now. 
Anyway, got a new chair. Um, I tried it out. It seemed to work. On my first time using it, um, one of the legs just straight broke the fuck off. I don't want to fight the boss. Let's go get more treasure. Um, so yeah, the leg broke the fuck off. That was yesterday. I have a... Oh, this looks like Altered Beast with the Genesis, actually. Anyway, the chair leg just fucking broke clean off. So I whipped out the wood glue and tried to patch it. Um, after my first attempt, the chair, the, the wheel on the chair, the chair leg, slowly just began to slide out of the, of the well. Um, so I glued that back in and duct taped it all back up. And I'm sitting on that chair now. Let me try this. Eyeball time? Okay. Heater. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, get the spikes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, prosopagnosia. I I know that one. That's a face blindness more commonly. Okay. Fire berry sounds cool. Let's go with uh what do we got? Strength, health, barbarian. Oh boy. Um let's go with health. Oh man. Glaucoma, huh? Let's lock it down. Because I found the boss. Monies. I do not have a lot of health, huh? So now here's the test. Will this even preserve my damage? I don't imagine it will or should. That would make it a little too easy, I think. Just seen that coming. My health was very low. Sir Lancelot. Interesting. We got Hornsby. Um, hmm. Let's go with Lancelot. I didn't even get money. Lock it down again. This is an interesting mechanic of just being able to bang your head against a boss. Because um, as far as I know, Enter the Gungeon doesn't have that. I've only played it for the first couple of hours. But yeah, um, just being able to just... Because at first I was uh, uh, a little confused, I guess, about the mechanic of locking it down. But after seeing this, this makes a lot more sense. You know what? I'm gonna um, bash my head against this off screen now, actually. Because this is just getting embarrassing. Alright, hey, and I'm back. This is gonna be the last segment in this video. Uh, I've decided to uh, not fight the boss right now, because he's really hard. Um, I, I do very, very little damage to him. Just scratch damage, really. And I guess I'm gonna save Very little damage, anyway. Um, so I've decided to instead use the architect to go explore this area that I haven't really looked at. I tried, uh, I tried, um, Peter with, uh, pretty much all the. Exactly. 
It's pretty much every class at least once. Oh wow. This is this is Alright, guess I'm going in again. Um hmm. Sir dude. I uh I'll just take Shane. He doesn't have any downsides even if he doesn't have anything special. It down. The fact that it's 60% just feels so small. I know that it is a little more than, you know, nothing, but it's so, it's such a small amount. Seeing if I can scrape together any monies. Also, it looks like you can only go between ones vertically on the, or, uh, horizontally on the same plane. Now let's head back for just a little bit. Oh, for crying out loud. Hell yeah, 24 chickens. Oh boy, okay. It's a very hard game, although I'm glad to be playing it. The sequel comes out very soon. So if you're liking what you're seeing, why not just wait by the way? It comes out in like a couple of days for you guys. <laughs> Memories of Seymour here. What are you exactly? Uh -huh. Oh, that was worth it. That was worth it, even if I'm not, even if I'm gonna get a fraction of that. Worth it for the money is Okay, we got slimes. Oh dear. Well. Got a real knife for fucking it up. Succeeding in this game does feel very good. Oh, I can upgrade barbarians. Nice. This is a very this is one of them uh, easy to play hard to master games, huh? Hey we got lords. The thing about this castle is off. Can't keep track of my headings, and there's no set of stars to get. Backtracking constantly, and I must map out my progress or else I go to Map I've stolen off corpses of other adventures are breathtaking and accurate. It's almost as if they are describing another castle altogether. I think I see my friend driving in. Perhaps this place does something to mine. Are the stone or are the stones truly shifting beneath my feet? Are the stones shifting beneath my tootsies? Alright. Sir Skunky. Trait the one, there is no spork. Haha. -ha. Kima. And Charles. Let's go with this. This is a good setup, I think. Um, and I've just gotten the money, so let's upgrade that. Fa Rodus. Barbarians, barbarians, kings. Learn that you can shout to the, uh, the bears and shout at things until they explode. Uh, Shinobi. So that's an entirely new class. Interesting. And then... Yeah, I don't have much interest in the magic. Oh, wow. That walk speed is great. Let's go in completely fresh. Let's just go totally wrong. Castle Hampson. We got four entries. Yep, there's my friend. I can tell by our program. Oh, that was nice of you. Oh, I guess dwarfism is actually a good thing because it makes you have a smaller hit. Whereas gigantic, gigantic. Oh, 
Dreams Venture here to give you a chance of a lifetime. This is a sum of 25% of your current gold. I'll give you a chance of a wonderful chance. One trustful chip will you paid. Sure. The box. Nothing. You stupid, so stupid. Well, that's all right. Take another shot. Sorry, dude. One chest per person. Nice, nice. Oh, we got one. Oh. Okay. So it looks like it just brought me to an. I mean, yeah, it does look like it brought me to an area. Probably because that's what it did. I'm doing those uh, things that most players do that I can't exactly talk. Oh, that's called a plinky. That's funny. Because it plinks at you. I really like this game right now. It's one reason why I decided to play it for so long. It also is a very good roguelike. Defeat all enemies. I can probably handle that. Oh boy. I've got, I've, I'm gonna try to remember my blade wall. Right. Yeah, give me that chicken boy. Now, it just said defeat all enemies, not like defeat all enemies without getting hurt. Because I'm certainly taking emotional damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good to go. That was a real fuck up on my part. Well, that's okay. Right. Let's see if I can get a barbarian. Barbarian King, Sir Taco. He's nearsighted and he's a savant. I've never played with the shocker as well, so let's give that a shot. Not that I use a lot of my spells anyway. Um, I've got some monies, so let's see if I can get something. You serious? Oh my god, I can't. Alright. What'd you say, boy? You know, these things must be awesome considering how expensive they are. Alright. Since I'm not getting anything this round, may as well not get one the next one. Okay. Castle Hampton. Let's ham it up. I didn't even know this last time. Oh boy. By ham it up, I meant fuck. Let's not kill him. Oh. I really want that fairy chest, even though it'll be less fun, because I foolishly... I'm a fool. I'm a big fool. I'm a big fat doofus. Oh, nice. Environmental kill. That's interesting. My hands are sweating from this. This is unprecedented. Fucked up by a doomscape. Rips her taco. Ugh, boy. I feel incentivized to only pick my tier 2 classes now. I'm level 13, though. Is that good? I have no real idea of how to get more money. Or get, uh, get models, really. I would love to know. This is, this is a good start. Kind of nice and slow. Nice, that's cool. So it looks like the trick to killing Doom Vassals and uh, the brother. Nothing. Waste of mana. 
Looks like the trick to hurting... That was really stupid. Of Why do I... Oh! Hypochondriac. I exaggerate the damage I take. So I have no idea of knowing how much damage something actually did to me. Yeah, it looks like you almost have, like falling star to doom this is to kill them proper. Two thousand and twelve damage. I've mentioned it in the past, but I love games that uh, have no numbers. Because it lets you feel your character's strength and grow. Oh, it's a fight. It lets you feel your character's strength and grow. Because it's like, oh, when you're doing seven instead of six, you know, you feel that much stronger, but when you're dealing 28,000 more, the numbers are just so large that it really doesn't feel like it matters. It bombed. Oh, jeez. Visionary, huh? Upgraded eyeball, I guess? That was really cool. Good job, Sir Stephanie, or whatever your name is. Yeah, Stephanie the Second. Dodge Park in this game. I don't know what that is. Come on down, Boston. Okay, so that's the path you have to take up then, huh? Learning to effectively use your... Now playing pistol strike. Learning to effectively use your magic is really, really helpful. Oh, we got a teleport. Cool. Forest of Kazuya again. All right. Damage boosting is valid. I don't care what anyone says. Nice, you can stop them from hitting. Oh boy. Did I preserve my. Oh boy. Go, go, go. Okay, so there's a beholder in the other room, or whatever. Oh. They actually have a pretty long time to rev up and do their shit. Stephanie 2, no! Alright. Let's... Let's do Sir Teddy. Uh, I've got 350, so what can that get me? Attack up? 180. 180, that wouldn't do it. Alright, attack up! This is going to be the, uh, my last attempt for the episode, I think. This, this is just blazed by, like, it's, it's very, it, um, there's a, there's a term used by, by some of like a coffee break roguelike. Or just a roguelike that is a very, very short time. Like, you pick one up and one run is just very quick, and that's kind of how this feels. And I love this. Oh, that's so sick. So how does this work? Do I just... Interesting. It, it just works like it says it does. I'm sure that's very... That's that's one of those things where that's either, like, the super pro strat... Yeah, no. yeah, that was either, um... That's either something that no one uses, or, like, that's the extreme pro strats. Time stop, con flood... Oh, okay. Copper Lolly isn't 110. Does that give me anything? Oh yeah, this thing just shows me the damage I do, huh? That's kind of useful actually. I, I love when games have a mechanic like that. Um so what would I like? Because I'm 
normally I would talk and be like, what do I like? What don't I like? Um, the difficulty is very, very steep. That's okay. This is a this is a roguelike for very specific types of people, and I honestly do like the vibe of the just how excruciating it can be. Um, I would love a bang. You know, a way to save money so you don't just blow it down six coins away from something. Reach me in time, oh boy. Yeah, I'm guessing that that's impossible without um, movement ability. These games are really cool. Um, when you launch it from Steam, it gives you the option to play a mod by now. Maybe I'll come back and do that on another episode, but... Oh boy, okay, one more. One more. Okay, you can tell it's a good roguelike, but I'm like... For real, just one, just one more. Uh, colorblind and gay. And the man. Um, hmm. Let's go, Kima. Fifty short. Wow, twenty-nine. That's pretty great. Turn it up, Sharon. I love the adventurous feel of this game as well. This is a very, very... This is a game where you very much feel as though you're going to Oh, if you don't have Okay, I think I understand it. Savant just makes you switch your shit. Oh, that's a lot of fire! Oh, that's a lot of fire! I did it! Haste Road, Sword. What does that get me? Done it. That's a that's a pretty triumphant place to stop, I would say, but I'll keep going. <laughs> oh, don't turn. Can't exit through the gate, but that's a little concern. I'm committed to my cause, won't back out. None of the maps coincide with my own. Comparing them as a whole, I know there's a slight pattern. The force always to the right, the tower always above, and below, I won't have to find out, hopefully. That is true. The forest is... That's so cool. Okay, so there is a bit of consistency in the map. Left of the map is nothing because that's the starting Oh, it's the Land of Darkness. Okay. Well, we figured out what it is. I was hoping that I could have. Wow, that's a lot of dudes. Okay. I know I said that's the last one. Special weapon challenge. I'm gonna do one, one more. Oh, for God's sakes! I didn't get enough monies. I don't have enough monies, guys. I'm going to do one more because I want to see what the deal with that rune is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my god, I haven't been using the abilities. I, I totally forgot to press the Y button in all of those. That's, uh, embarrassing. Go on in. Alright, this is the last one for the episode. I'll come back and record some more. Yeah, it's a cool. 
So it looks like it takes it out of it automatically. It doesn't like... So you get a potential more. Oh my god, that's level 52. What in God's name am I doing? Here? That wasn't so bad. Ninpo. Oh, it's an Oni mask. That's clever. An Oni ninja, no less. Wow. No fighting. I might be able to do that. Oh, boy. Alright, if I die here, I'll be Nope, actually, no. I, I keep saying it. I have to stop it. Alright. I will... Oh, okay, I'll do... I'll do... I'll load the save from there next time. But I'm gonna cut the recording here. That was really fun. This is a really good game. Holy shit, I've been playing for like an hour and ten minutes. Maybe more. Um, Rogue Legacy 2 comes out in, I want to say like four days. I think it should be the 18th of August. So you guys will see... So you guys should see this on the 14th of August because that's Friday. Uh, next week you'll see it on the 21st, I think. So yeah, um, Rogue Legacy is available on Steam now. Um, Rogue Legacy 2 is coming out momentarily, so blow these people up. Hell yeah, this game rocks. <laughs> this game is so good. Okay. Uh, I've been Alfred, this has been Rogue Legacy. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. I'll see you guys next week. Unless you watch another one of my videos before then. Bye.